the honeycombs built by the bees are so regular and flawless that it is astonishing for tiny animals to exhibit such a perfect structure. All combs consist of very regular hexagons. What do you think the bees need to consider when building a hexagonal honeycomb? The honeycomb cells have a 13 degree slope, which prevents honey from flowing out. Each of the internal angles of the honeycomb cells are formed at 120 degrees. If the angle with the ground were arranged correctly, but the inner angle were not arranged correctly, there would be disorders in the honeycomb. If the internal angles were calculated correctly, but the slope with the ground were not calculated correctly, all the honey stored in the honeycomb would fall to the ground. How do bees calculate this 13-degree slope and 120-degree internal angles of the honeycomb cells without using a T-square and a ruler? How do they achieve these precise values, which even an engineer would have difficulty in calculating? How do they build this flawless honeycomb construction, which surpasses even the most talented craftsmen, though they do not have a plan and a construction site supervisor directing them? How will those who do not explain a small insect's becoming a mathematician like an engineer, and then working as a skilled master, building such flawless combs by the verse, and thy Lord taught the bee, explain it. The bee is a cause. The extraordinary work it does is an effect, a result. Since the cause is simple and the effect is perfect, the cause cannot be the doer. The wonderful things this little insect does will make even the most stubborn minds accept that the Lord, who educates and teaches the bee, is behind the scenes.